Hello, people of the interwebs. I'm your host, Eco Geeko. Welcome to another show. This week, we show you some good green vibrations, a small EV charger, the sun gives us something sweet to eat, Audi has a cool electric car, and I get to tell you all the news that Scott wouldn't let me talk about last week, here on Green Tech Weekly! Welcome to show number eight. Here we are again bringing you the sustainable tech that's on the bleeding edge from all around the world. Scott, can I tell him the news yet? Well... Please, 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 please. Okay, go ahead. Well... Well, go ahead. I don't know how to tell them. They're watching right now. Well, if they're watching right now, then just, just welcome them. Okay. We've been selected as the content partner by the website earthtackling.com. Man, I wish we could have used that as our name. It is so great. I know, right? We want to welcome all our new Earth Techling viewers watching us today. We hope you enjoy the show. Now let's show them what we're all about. Sounds great. In our first story, we have good, 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 good vibrations. They're good because they can charge your gadgets. Microgen Systems has designed a generator only one centimeter squared. It's a small silicon flap connected to a piezoelectric material. The thing only produces 200 microwatts. That's not a lot of power. Are they thinking about scaling this up? Not really, because existing similar handmade generators aren't small enough. This new design can be made cheaper by using existing chip manufacturing techniques. I hope they at least connect a few of them together to get my cell phone to charge on the go. Scott. I want to tell our new viewers a little something about me. Is it that you're a robot sent from the future to protect humanity from itself? I drive a solar powered car, but sometimes while I'm out and about, I want or need to plug in. The curbs are not always big enough to allow the city to install a charging station, but that's where this tiny EV charger comes in handy. Nichicon states that this is the world's smallest EV charger. They have shrunk the technology down by using what they call advanced module technology. This design is 50% smaller and stands 59 inches tall. And they reduce the weight by 66%. The connection is the industry standard C-H-A-D-E-M-O, which is an abbreviation for charge to move, and that means charge for moving. And per the wiki, this is a pun for ocha dimo ikaja disuko in Japanese, meaning how about some tea while charging in English? What does all this have to do with an electric car charger? Basically, it's ready for such cars as the Nissan Leaf and the Mitsubishi Miev. So why didn't you tell us all of that in the first place? Because I wanted you to know. I think from now on, we just need to say Chadmo. Sounds good to me. You know how hard that was to say all that? The cool thing is that the charge time is 35 to 60 minutes. So it'll give you long enough to eat lunch. I really hoped you were going to say you were a robot. No. Never. <laughs> Our next story shows us how the hot sun can make sweet, sweet popsicles. Mmm, popsicles. <sighs> I present the solar powered popsicle truck. The truck is sponsored by Sungevity, and they want to show the U.S. how easy it is to go solar by traveling all over the country. The company is trying to gain interest in rooftop solar. They call it the Coast to Coast Rooftop Revolution. They're even giving away free organic ice pops. Check out their Facebook page so you can track their sweet ride and get a free sweet popsicle. Mmm, popsicles. Mmm. For the fourth story, we have Audi announcing their A2 all-electric car. They pointed out the lights use matrix beam technology with LEDs, micro-reflectors, and a new laser diode for their rear fog light that projects a red triangle on the ground. The lights also change their intensity depending on the weather conditions. One of the other things they showed off is the gesture control system that gets rid of the need for keys. So I guess if you need to get into your car, you better start practicing your jazz hands. 
Jason, what are the specs on the electric motor? You know, speed, range, that kind of thing. Well, here's the thing, Scott. They didn't mention one thing about the electric motor. The entire press release was about the bells and whistles. Hey, Audi, tell us what's under the hood, would ya? Scott, I have just the story for you. Is it an electric motorcycle? No, it's a plane, an electric plane made by NASA. Finally! And you know, this is the coolest one I've ever seen. It's an electric plane. What could make it better? This is powered by lasers. Lasers! This bleeding edge plane has no fuel on board at all. Instead, it's powered by a ground-based invisible laser aimed at the solar panels on the plane. The power is then used to spin the propeller. Is there a battery? What about the clouds? Line of sight flight doesn't seem very efficient. And I don't want to test gravity when flying this thing. The ground-based laser means that the aircraft could stay aloft forever. But don't expect anyone to fly in this someday. Aww. The planned uses for this tech are to keep remote sensing aircraft in the air and telecommunications equipment running. And of course, since it's made by NASA, then it will also be in some awesome space travel stuff. Lasers! Hi, I'm Jeannie. I'm Eco Geeko's wife, and you're watching Green Tech Weekly. Last up, Prius has a whole family now. America's best-selling hybrid gained some siblings. Since it was first introduced in 1997, they have sold over 3.3 million hybrids. They're going with the old adage, you can never have too much of a good thing. They're adding a plug-in to the popular line along with upgrading its lithium-ion battery pack from their tried-and-true Nikometa Hydride. One of the siblings being added will be the new seven-passenger model called the Prius V. I'm guessing the V stands for van. Yep. And the thing that stands out the most is the really short charge time of 90 minutes from a 220 volt outlet. These models will be available later next year if you want to get your hands on one. That's our show. We hope all of our new viewers like it. If you want to know more about anything that was in today's show, you can hit the link below, greentechnow.com. You can follow me on Twitter, at EcoGeeko, and follow the show on Facebook. Just search for Green Tech Weekly. If you hit the subscribe link on our YouTube channel, you can see past shows and some behind the scenes stuff. I want to thank everyone for watching and remember to rethink a green. I'm gonna get you a can. Say, I'm gonna get you a can. I'm gonna get you a can. Sir, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it. Hey, if you noticed today's show didn't have any sponsors, we're still looking for some. So if you want to be our sponsor, send your info to greentechweekly at gmail.com and we'll be able to get together. Thanks again.